the above principle and uh, in the above principle we have seen the three main concepts and those three main concepts were number 1 increasing order of energy level number 2 Pauli's exclusion principle and number 3 Hans rule of multiplicity right so this is what we had seen in the last period and we had also seen that what is electronic configuration and how to fill the electronic configuration according to the increasing energy level right so how do we fill the increasing energy level it goes from the 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 3d 4s likewise we are going to fill the electrons right so you all know now that s has the capability to fill maximum 2 electrons P has the capability to fill 6 electrons D has the capability to fill the 10 electrons and F has the capability to fill the 14 electrons right so you people are very much aware of this if the question comes in the exam that write the electronic configuration of zinc then you should immediately know that the atomic number of a zinc is 30 and based on that atomic number you are supposed to write the electronic configuration getting quickly right so i hope that it is very much clear to all of you that how to write the electronic configuration and that is going to be a very very important question as far as your board exam is concerned right because in your board exam you will be having a one section that is the very short answers in a very short answers for one one mark they will be asking you the such type of a question write the electronic configuration of any particular element and in that case they are not going to give you the atomic number or in some cases if, we, if they are giving you 3-4 elements then in that case they may give you the atomic number okay if that particular element has a very high atomic number for example zinc hai, chromium hai फिर कॉपर है, निकल है, कोबाल्ट है। अगर ऐसे एलिमेंट देंगे, तो उसके केस में वो एटॉमिक नंबर भी देंगे, राइट? बिकॉज़ यू नो इट हैज अ वेरी हाई एटॉमिक नंबर। सो इन दैट केस यू पीपल शुड बी एबल टू राइट दी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन। ओके? सो इन दिस क्लास, टुडेस क्लास, वी आर � कि जैसे जैसे एटॉमिक नंबर बढ़ेगा वैसे वैसे क्या होगा दी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन विल टेक मच अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस टू राइट राइट सो इन दैट केस द साइंटिस्ट हैव डेवलप्ड अ वेरी शॉर्ट वे ऑफ राइटिंग दी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज दी साइंटिफिक नोटेशन राइट सो इन दिस साइंटिफिक नोटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक वन एलिमेंट एज दी रेफरेंस किसी एक एलिमेंट को रेफरेंस लेके हम लोग उसको इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन रिप्रेजेंट करने वाले हैं, राइट? फॉर एग्जांपल हीलियम, अगर लिथियम के केस में हमको लिखना है, तो वी विल टेक अ हीलियम इक्वल टू द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ हीलियम एंड वन एस वन, राइट? हाउ व्हाट इज़ द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ हीलियम? कॉन्फ़िगरेशन ऑफ Right, so how I should write this? 1s, 2, 2s, 1. Right, so instead of writing 1s, 2, I will simply write that the configuration of a lithium is equal to the helium. Are you understanding? This is called as the short way of writing or the condensed notation of electronic configuration. Okay, similarly, as we go further, we will get the different different elements for example after helium we will get a neon after neon we will get the argon okay so we are going to see that but before that <coughs> write down <coughs> electronic configuration of electronic configuration of Chromium and copper, right? Electronic configuration of chromium and copper. So write down the electronic configuration of chromium. What is the atomic number of chromium? 
एटॉमिक नंबर इज ट्वेंटी फोर राइट एटॉमिक नंबर इज ट्वेंटी फोर देन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री एस टू थ्री पी सिक्स देन थ्री डी फाइव एंड फोर एस वन राइट थ्री डी फाइव एंड फोर एस वन सो काउंट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू प्लस टू फोर प्लस सिक्स टेन टेन सिक्स सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस टू एटीन एटीन एंड सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर राइट तो दिस इज दिग्रेशन ऑफ द क्रोमियम अभी उस दिन मैंने तुम लोगों को बोला था कि ये कॉन्फिग्रेशन करेक्ट कॉन्फिग्रेशन है राइट देन वट इज दी रॉन्ग कॉन्फिग्रेशन द रॉन्ग कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज थ्री डी फोर फोर एस टू दिस इज द रॉन्ग कॉन्फिग्रेशन वाई आई टेल यू द रीजन ऑल्सो बट बिफोर दैट ऑल्सो राइट ऑन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ कॉपर फिर दोनों के बीच का डिफरेंस देखेंगे हम लोग कॉपर एज दी एटॉमिक नंबर बोलो चलो एटॉमिक नंबर क्या है कॉपर का 29 सबको याद होना चाहिए कॉन्फिग्रेशन विल बी 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 देन 3d 10 4s1 सो दिस इज द राइट कॉन्फिग्रेशन राइट सो व्हाट शुड बी दी कॉन्फिग्रेशन लगा क्या था हमको कैसा कॉन्फिग्रेशन होगा 3d9 Four is two, but this configuration is wrong, right? Are you understanding, my dear students? This configuration is wrong. Three D nine four is two. Three D nine four is two. नहीं है, तो क्या है? Three D ten four is one, right? Now here the question comes. What is the reason? Okay, so write down the reason also. Write down due to. इंटर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रिपल्शन ड्यू टू इंटर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रिपल्शन वन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन वन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्रॉम फोरेस Enters into three d orbitals. Three d orbital. Thereby, thereby, both four s and three d orbital become half free. Become Half filled. Are you understanding? See, my dear students, this is the reason due to inter-electronic repulsion. This is a very very important word, <coughs> right? अगर एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आएगा कि explain why the configuration of a chromium and copper is 3d 5 4s1 and 3d 10 4s1. Right. So in that case, the word which is important is due to inter-electronic repulsion. One of the electron will go from the forest orbital and enters into a 3D orbital. Okay. And write down it becomes half filled. Due to which, due to which, chromium and copper. Chromium and copper attain maximum stability. Attain maximum stability. Right. So this is a very very important thing, and mark this as a very important question <coughs> as far as your exam is concerned. I may ask this question. See wherever I tell you to write the very important question, those are going to be an important one as far as your exams are concerned. Okay, so this question is a logical question and you should be able to write it logically. Okay, जब भी ये question आएगा, तुम लोगों को electronic configuration भी represent करना है, 
Are you understanding? This question may be for 3 marks. Where 2 marks will be allotted for writing the electronic configuration and 1 mark will be allotted for the explanation. Samaj bhai aage sabko? Okay. So this is how the question will be asked in the exam and this is how you need to answer. Okay. Then next. What is half filled orbital and fully filled orbital? What is half filled orbital and what is fully filled orbital? Okay. So understanding the difference between half filled and fully filled is also important. So see here how orbitals are considered as the half filled and fully filled. So, we will look half filled. So, what happens in the case of a half filled? I am taking the example of a d orbital. Okay. Let's say we have a d orbital. Right. So, similarly, we will take the d orbital here also. This is fully filled. fully filled orbital here also I will take the same example 1, 2, 3 and 4 ok now let's say that if I have a 5 electrons over here right if I have a 5 electrons to fill agar configuration aisa hai 3d5 4s1 samaj me aray 3d5 4s1 ka configuration hai to kya hoga Electrons will be filled according to which rule? Hans rule of multiplicity. Yani ki har ek orbital ko, degenerate orbital jo hai, usko kya hoga? Ek ek electron milega. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. Now this orbital is considered to be a half filled. Right? Why it is half filled? Because there is no pairing available in this case. That is why it becomes the half filled orbital. Now in this case, if the configuration is like this, 3D 10 4S1, right? So in this case, we have a 10 number of electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. First 5 electrons will go to the orbital. Then after that, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this becomes your configuration of a 10 electrons. Now you can clearly see this is a half filled and that is the fully filled orbital. Samaj bhai aage aage? Bhoat baar bachcho ko ye samaj bhai nahi aata ki half filled orbital means what? What? And fully filled orbital means what? And remember one thing, only half filled orbitals undergo the concept of hybridization. Yani ki chemical bonding, koi bhi bond banane ke liye orbitals half filled honne chahiye. Agar wo fully filled hoga to wo kya hoga? If it is fully filled, it is stable. Agar wo stable hoga to wo react hoga kya? It will not undergo any kind of a reaction. For in order to attain this stability, it should have the half filled configuration. Half filled configuration. Right? So, yeh sabse important hai. You people should understand what is half filled and what is fully filled. Okay, so you can note it down quickly, these diagrams. <coughs> Last benches, I'm watching from here. Yes, and uh, one more important thing I would like to uh, tell you all uh, that is regarding the uh, coronavirus update. I thought that this is to be told to all the students. Uh, the vaccination has been started, right? So in that case, uh, if you want the vaccination, vaccination, right? Because uh, all the frontline workers, yes, second last bench, be quiet. 
or the all the frontline workers are going to get the vaccination first right janna apan corona yodha asa manto tya lokanna pahile vaccination milnar ani nantar aplyala milnar ahe so in that case you have to apply on the application that is the covid right there is a one application launched by the central government and the name of the application is covid go on that covid and register yourself for the vaccine to yourself as well as to your family kale ka saglanna tar hi mahiti atishay mahatvachi ahe ani register kara covid var Standerman asked the question. Yes, be quiet here. Who's there? Which are the Uber one? Which are? Can't doubt us at all. Ah? Which? Hmm. Je eighteen plus study aye ka. Is applicable for everyone. is applicable for everyone there is no age barrier okay next point write down angular momentum yes be quiet write down angular momentum angular momentum so in the uh, you know last few periods we had left some of the important uh, information uh, we can see that we have left some of the important concepts so we will write down that okay so write down what is angular momentum angular momentum is a product of is a product of moment of inertia angular momentum is the product of moment of inertia represented by capital i and angular velocity and angular velocity omega omega okay and that omega looks like a w wo w ko thoda curve kar do it is like this see ye w ko thoda curve kar do it becomes the omega okay so what is angular momentum angular momentum is the product of moment of inertia i and angular velocity omega okay then therefore write down angular momentum is equal to i into w not w omega omega therefore i is equals to m r square and omega is equals to v by r okay therefore <coughs> angular momentum is equal to i into w or omega that is equals to m r square into v divided by r okay so r r will get cancelled and we will get angular momentum is equals to mv r dekho this is what is proved now angular momentum is equal to mv r right so how did we prove this mv r see angular momentum is product of what moment of inertia and angular velocity right so here i is equal to mr square right 
I is equal to mR square, where m is the mass and r is the radius. Therefore, omega is equal to velocity divided by radius. बराबर है तो अभी हम लोग क्या करेंगे इसका जो फॉर्मूला है वो इसमें टूटअप करेंगे ओके दैट इज आई इन टू ओमेगा सेकेंड लास्ट बेंच नाउ आई विल थ्रो यू आउट ऑफ द क्लास डोंट अलाउ मी टू डू दैट सो आई इन टू डब्ल्यू आई का फॉर्मूला क्या है एम आर स्क्वायर ओमेगा का क्या है बी डिवाइडेड बाय आर सो एम आर स्क्वायर इन टू बी डिवाइडेड बाय आर तो आर आर क्या होगा कैंसल आउट होगा वॉट विल बी दी फॉर्मूला एम बी आर यू रिमेम्बर आई टोल्ड यू दैट एंगुलर मोमेंटम इज इक्वल टू एम बी आर देखो हम लोग ये प्रूव भी कर सकते हैं राइट सी दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन इज मूविंग विद अ सर्टन वेलॉसिटी राइट एंड इट हैज अर्टन मास एंड इट इज मूविंग अलॉन्ग दी radius r so it becomes the m v and r where m stands for mass v stands for the velocity and r stands for the radius samajh mein aa gaya sabko okay next we are going to solve one problem this problem is there in your textbook take down the problem problem number 4.6 Problem number four point six. Yes, write down the problem. How many electrons? How many electrons are present in? How many electrons are present in hydrogen? Hydrogen, comma helium, comma helium plus helium plus, right? So how many electrons are present in hydrogen, helium, and helium plus? Right? So helium ion. चलो calculate करो. Total number of electrons find out करना है यहाँ पे. Total number of electrons. तो 